Junction, junction. What's your function? Alrighty. The purpose of a conjunction is to combine different phrases, clauses, and parts of a sentence in the English language. There are three basic conjunctions you need to know for the exam. The big one is our fanboys. We probably know that pretty well by now. For and nor, but, or, yet, so. If you've heard me say anything before, it's say, say it three times fast and you'll remember it forever. These conjunctions, which are transitions with their own transition ideas, by the way, often appear without commas before verbs, compound adjectives, compound nouns, when we put it together. But the rule we like to know is when we put together independent clause plus independent clause, we are using one of our fanboys. It's a comma with one of our fanboys. And that's how we do that. The second type of conjunction we run into a lot on the exam is subordinating conjunctions. You put any of these words after, although, as, if, so, though, unless, before, if, until, whenever, whereas, while, where, before an independent clause, my subordinating conjunction and an independent clause makes that a dependent clause. So John runs. If John runs, since John runs, before John runs, when John runs, after John runs, any of those no longer complete a thought, no longer an independent clause. They become dependent clauses. Subordinating conjunctions, as you can see, is a much longer list than coordinating conjunctions. And by the way, this probably is not complete in itself. The idea here is not to memorize them as much as to get to recognize the main ones and the variations of them and identify them for the exam. Now, we don't see the third one as often. It's called a correlative conjunction, kind of a cool name. Basically, it's either or, not only but also, neither nor. Now, there's several more as we can see, both and, whether or, just as so, etc., etc. But these are the big three that you're going to see on the exam. Either or, neither nor, not only but also. And the ellipsis, the three dots in between, denote there's always text in between them. So how do we use that or see that on the exam? Well, perhaps we don't see it too often now, but if you see the first part of your correlative conjunction, you better be looking out for that second part. So if you see an either, there will be an or coming up somewhere. If you see a not only, it's not gonna be not only and, it must be a not only but also coming up after that for the exam. And that's how we often use it and see it. So get to recognize your three conjunctions, coordinating, subordinating, correlative, and good luck. Conjunction, junction, what your function?